So one thing is just sort of maybe our core basic job in agriculture, which is very, very simple, and is to provide unbiased research-based knowledge to farmers to help them make better decisions and improve their prosperity. Now that comes with some pieces. One of those pieces is to make sure that we're also aware of what the needs of the industry are through our connection with agriculture out in the countryside and out on the farms to make sure that our researchers back on campus have a focus not just on a lot of grand paradigm shifting research, but they're also focusing on the needs of the industry. And then once those needs are met, we can transfer that research-based information uh, back to farmers and continue to work with them. I feel that one of our missions, if you will, is to continue to connect the public to their food supply. Continue to connect the public to the great things that happen in agriculture. And that I see for agriculture to continue to be successful from the standpoint of the legislature and the philanthropists and even how our administration views us on campus. We need a public that is supportive of what we do and a public that does not take their food supply for granted, as so many people do. One of the great things that we have in Extension, thankfully, is some ability to take all of that, the knowledge and then all of our people, and put together educational programming that I think can really help educate the public and really get them to understand that there is a reason why you have scientists work in the agricultural industry, that food is incredibly important, and having fewer farmers on less land providing food for a growing population on this planet is no small task and it it cannot be taken for granted it should not be taken for granted and i want to be part of the education that takes place uh, for the consumers to understand that they should never take their food supply for granted so there's a lot of exciting things happening on the research side within our college. Our collaboration with research from the standpoint of not only providing ideas back to the researchers, but also be able to work in a way that we could be testing as we go along and to see the potential for how it could impact agriculture. And it's not just to put more toys on farms. It's not to put more things in front of farmers that cost money. It's all about profitability. Putting something in front of them that means something, that makes a difference, that allows them to stay in business, allows them not to be in that situation that I was talking about earlier, the dark side. We want to move away from the dark side and we want to move towards a place where our technology and our new technology can really, really help farmers be profitable and to stay in business and keep that land in their families and provide opportunity for generations to come. Having a diverse population from the standpoint of where people live, what they like to eat, the amount of money they have, how they like to shop, whether it's a CSA or a farm stand or a farmer's market or a supermarket. Farmers in states with population centers can take advantage of that kind of marketing. And so we recognize that our local foods program and smaller farmer programs are are geared a little bit differently and the customer base is a little bit different. But those customers that come from other states in North Carolina and don't move to rural areas, move to urban areas, there's a group of people there that we can, we can serve. If we can get our farmers up to speed about how to serve that population, then there's a whole nother segment of the agricultural community that can do well. I guess understanding that one of those old sayings, the last seven words of any dying organization is we have always done it that way. And I think if you're going to survive and do better and be impactful, you need to recognize when you need to do things differently.